Right, guys. Been quite a lot of activity on the forums and the Steam discussion over the last few days. For the 1.7 release and supposed changes that have happened to the trucks. Now, one of the main culprits, apparently, is the Euro 6. Now, I drive a Euro 6 all the time, and I've never had a single bit of trouble with it going around bends. Now, people are saying it's a 6x4 chassis, and fair enough, I don't usually use a 6x4 chassis. So, this is a standard Euro 6. I'm using... 720 horsepower engine with a 16 speed manual box and I'm going to see exactly if we can replicate what's going on because we've looked in the def files we've looked in the physics files and there really appears to be no difference between the files in 1.6 and 1.7 so I don't really know what's causing it or if it's people's setups or what. So I know the Euro 6 drives fine on a 6x2 with a mid lift. So we're going to try it on the 6x4 and then perhaps we can see if, yes, there is a problem with the truck or it's something other people are doing. I, I just don't know. So what we'll do is we'll get ourselves a load. So. Let's have the jump markers up. Bloody did it. Where are we? Liverpool. Okay, let me see. What can we? Let's not go for forty tons. That's a that's a bit silly. Let's go for twenty four tons. And we'll see how we go with that. Taking all the missing textures on my garage, I need to sort that out, but nice. Ay ay ay. That's my help. Okay. Well, breaking fine. There's that little one out. Yep, it's breaking smartly enough. Really. I'm really lost at problems that people are having with this update because it runs absolutely beautifully here. Loaded, it's going round bends fine. Yeah, I'm a little bit bemused. It's steering feels absolutely perfect. Whether or not it's only happening. When they're loaded, I don't know, but... Now, people have said it's down to it seeming to wheelie, so... Just check, yeah, do our play back to us on the floor. Is that 
take a look at, you know, this, and it's a, uh, it's, uh, and somebody said it handles like a Star Destroyer with one engine, really? Just load up. Let's get back into the truck. Actually, see. Oh, dearie, dearie. I normally cheat and go to exterior view. Let's see if we can do it clever. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Right. So there we go. Trailer's attached into 8th which is my normal takeoff gear for this sort of weight see axles are down now if what they're saying on the forums is right when I try to move this it's going to go straight it's not going to turn motorway speeds, get onto the motorway. Steering does feel a little bit lighter, but that's very likely just going to be down to the fact that you're driving four axles. It's it's going to push. Anything that's got lock diffs is going to have a very hard time. Going around corners. So yeah, you probably just going to need to slow down a little bit. So yeah, it does appear to be understeering slightly, but... Not to the point that people are saying that this, this truck is undrivable. I would say that it's not a problem with the truck and um, it's what I've been saying now for about a day or so it's purely down to the way that people are driving you're trying to take bends too quickly in an HGV bad things are gonna happen you are gonna have to slow down okay 
go. Left turn. Give it some retarder. Down the gearbox. A little bit of gas to bring it back out to speed. And round it goes. It's that, e it's that easy. There is not a problem with this game. It's not the update. Yes, they've changed the realism. So your trailer weight is going to affect your truck. But as you can see, it's absolutely fine. The truck isn't going everywhere. It's not going straight on. If it's going straight on around a the bend, then sorry, but you're driving too quick. Slow down. But, uh, this is Euro 6 and it's absolutely fine. If you're having a lot of trouble with the 6x4 chassis and the way it's steering, it's because you've got two sets of rear drive wheels. When you start putting a lot of power through two front steering wheels, you lose traction, so it will not turn as well. So either slow down or use one of the chassis that's got a mid lift and you've got more steering power to axles. Well, I've got a speeding ticket now talking to you lot. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this truck at all. If this isn't what you're seeing in your game, then it's how you've got the game set up. It's how you've set your controls. This is running on a G27 that is set up properly for my driving style and the game. People on the keyboards probably will find this isn't going to steer very well. That unfortunately is the sort of trade-offs that you make when you're using a keyboard. SCS have upped the realism. So these things aren't going to handle like go-karts. Yeah, the 6x4 chassis, it just needs a bit more care when you're driving. That's all. There's nothing wrong with the chassis. It's not something SCS have broken. It's not a problem with the game. Sorry, but it works absolutely fine for me, so I can't see this being a problem. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Um, I'm going to get out of this awful little dog truck now and go back to my one that's got all the pretty lights and things on it. So, yeah, if you think there's a problem with the game, sadly, it's not. It's a problem with your driving, and it's something you're going to have to figure out how to sort out. Enjoy 1.17. Enjoy Scandinavia when it comes out. And if you've got pro mods and it breaks, please don't go on the forums and moan about that. We all know it's going to break. It's going to break big time. So... Again, you have a decision. Do you use Pro Mods? Do you use Scandinavia? Pick one. Don't complain about it. Cheers. Happy trucking.